And this is terrible lighting. I look like I could use the sun. <laughs> At the time of filming this, it's January 5th, so I'm still allowed to say Happy New Year, so Happy New Year. I hope everybody's holidays were great and lots of fun and filled with love. My holidays were, so that's really nice. I'm looking forward to 2022. 22? 2022? 2022. I'm sorry, it just hit me that it's 2022 and that people that were born in 2000 are turning 22 this year. I hope that 2022 is going to be an amazing year for all. Have a look out on all my upcoming videos because they're going to be a lot of fun. Um, also this one I wanted to start off with something fun. So this is a vlog or video about me going to Ghent for a little adventure. Uh, Ghent is in Belgium which is a country below the Netherlands. Before we start off with the Gen video, I really want to thank the sponsor of today's video, which you guys all know because I've talked about them before, and it is Native. For my trip to Gen, I brought the plastic-free deodorants with me. I normally have three of these. Um, I have the cotton and lily one, the aloe and green tea, and normally also the coconut and vanilla, but I lost it after the trip in Gen. So that's unfortunate because that was actually my favorite one, coconut and vanilla. Coconut is just on my body. I don't know. I, I really like that. But I lost that one. So I have these left. It is made from paperboard. And Native is a proud partner of 1% for the planet. Committing 1% of plastic-free deodorant sales to environmental nonprofits. So Native's plastic-free deodorant uses the same formula as the regular ones. But with a much more sustainable packaging. The texture is actually not sticky and it dries very quickly, which I like a lot because I don't want to put my t-shirt on and then have it all, you know what I mean. They are aluminum free, paraben free, cruelty free, vegan, and they use familiar and simple ingredients such as coconut oil. They have a wide range of choices with new limited editions and sensitive scents being released all the time. It has 24 hour odor protection which who doesn't want that and it's great to wear all day every day even after exercise and of course here comes the fun part normally three plastic free deodorants would be 39 dollars but with my linking code romay5 you can get them for 26 dollars that's over 33 percent off and with my code you can also get 20 percent off their body wash or toothpaste so if you want to start the year off fresh <laughs> I highly recommend. I'm so sorry, that was really cheesy. But go and check it out. I'll put the link down in my description. And thank you so much, Native, for sponsoring this video. And I hope you guys are going to enjoy this little Gent getaway. It is Monday morning, and it's time for another adventure. I'm heading to Gent. It's just gonna be one night, two days. And I'm excited to get out of the country again. Oh, I hate vlogging in public. The battery is about to die. Good thing that I have a spare battery at Rihanna, so that's the first stop for today, because I forgot my battery. And the charger at her parents' house. Okay, the camera died. <laughs> the battery was empty, empty. I filmed so much with that thing the past couple of days, so. The uh, car drive is gonna be like two hours, probably. I've never been to Ghent too, so really excited about that city. Oh. Oh. We're in the car, the car is heating up. I don't know if you can hear this. I always make the mistake of, of turning it too loud and then you guys not being able to hear me. And I'm pretty sure this is also a very annoying thing to hear on camera, but... Let's get to Rihanna's and then off to it. Got it. It's so moist outside. I forgot how it was to have like real hair on my head. I look like Hermione Granger, but that's okay. I wouldn't be me if I didn't stop at a Starbucks for a Starbucks run for on the way to Ghent. So that's what I'm doing. Starbucks stop. 
the drink that i've been drinking lately is a uh i don't know if it's also the english term but it's a double shot latte macchiato that's definitely not english because i said that very dutch um with caramel so i don't really like coffee but i like sweet coffee so caramel really does the job for me encountered our first traffic jam which according to my phone is 24 minutes long the the signs say we can go 50 kilometers an hour we're not going 50 kilometers an hour I think I'm going 10 kilometers an hour and I'm actually going to a full stop every five meters so last night I came home from my parents house and I was sitting outside like soaking up the night outside in the cold um and suddenly i hear the fire alarm going off but mind you the fire alarm in our building goes off plenty of times so most of the times there's absolutely nothing there's no fire or anything but the thing is so loud and i think it was around 11 30 p.m or something like that so i hear the fire alarm going off and i run inside to see if i can shut it up and I couldn't find like the actual alarm that was blinking red. Turns out it was my neighbor, like my actual neighbor on the right, who was making herself popcorn. But she has like a really small studio apartment, like smaller than mine. So her entire studio apartment, she told me this because she couldn't open her door because if she would open her door, the fire alarm would think that there was an actual fire. But it was literally so cloudy in her room she had to open all her windows she has one window <laughs> all her windows one window <laughs> and she put on the ventilation but that doesn't work in our building so she spent a good amount of time locked up in her room in burnt popcorn smoke yeah and i managed to uh, turn off the fire alarm but my neighbor felt really sorry because we live with 26 people i don't think all 26 people were home but there were some people home. I don't know how many people there were home because nobody reacts or responds to the uh, fire alarm anymore, which is also quite a problem because what if there is an actual fire? Um, but that thing goes off so many times. I'm not surprised nobody's responding or reacting to it anymore. But yeah, um, I think I killed about four minutes <laughs> talking to a camera in the traffic. So that means we have like 22 minutes left of this traffic jam. <laughs> Do I know another fun story to tell you guys? No, only that I'm excited to get gas in Belgium because <laughs> it's way cheaper there than it is here. So I'm excited to fill up my car with a lot of Belgium gas. Okay, well that makes 21 minutes left of this traffic jam. You know what's the most annoying thing about being in a in a Dutch car in a traffic jam. A lot of Dutch cars um, still have the gears, the shifts. It's not normal to have an automatic car. Little. Okay, well, my phone just mentioned that there is a vehicle stopped on the road as if we didn't know already because we're in a I got really annoyed in traffic jams. What was I saying? Oh, it's not normal to have automatic cars here in the Netherlands. So I have to use both my legs while driving and in a traffic jam that's really exhausting because I have to like shift between one and two and between gears one and two if you understand what I mean um, if you don't understand what I mean that's actually a good thing because that meant you never had to deal with this before stretch break <laughs>
Oh, hello. This is the bathroom. Toilet. Nate, come into the bedroom. Big bed. TV. Lounge set. <gasps> A coffee maker. And drinks. <gasps> and we have ropes. And we got flip flops. Made it to Gent. Made it to the hotel. And they had their own private parking, but that cost like 38 euros. But there's like a parking spot around the corner, which is like, it's cheaper, way cheaper. They have wellness, but I forgot to bring a bikini. So that's something I'm gonna try to get today because I really wanna hop in a pool. <laughs> oh my God, I wanna hop in a pool and I wanna hop in a sauna. <gasps> they have cute little, look what they, placed here. I'm going to enjoy this a lot. And if you're wondering what the hotel is that I'm staying at, it's the Pillows Hotel. but we just left the De La Grite, which was the place where we had beers and apparently it's the place to go to when you are in um, Ghent. <laughs> Not sure about that though. <laughs> it wasn't as cozy as I thought that it was gonna be. There was no music. I mean, there was music, but it was not, wasn't really that loud. The lights were on pretty heavily. Um, the beers were good, but we paid 16 euros and 40 cents for one of their beers, which is like a known beer, and it is like pretty rare to drink that. <laughs> That's so overpriced. They don't have a menu, so you, you, you don't know what you order, but uh, we decided to leave and go to dinner. We're at uh, translated to English, it's called the Friday feeling. So I hope that the food is good and the ambience is already better than the bar actually. Which is a shame because we're in Belgium and bars should be fun. But I, I don't recommend this one, so yeah. by the hour. I highly recommend this place. So if you're ever in Kent, go to Freilof Sufu. Good food, good service, good drinks. I'm gonna end this vlog here because the Kent adventure is over. I'm gonna drive back home and that was it. So thank you Kent for rainy days, beers and wine. <laughs> I am done. I am exhausted. The bed was nice. Really nice to sleep in. Okay, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and don't forget to turn your notification bell so you know whenever there is a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye. Ooh, bye. <laughs>